Well, hello, everybody. My name is Deborah Taylor, and I'm a pay to save two star director as well as a pro travel network travel agent. I am super, super excited to be sharing this information with you. I call this presentation Pay to Save and Pro Travel the dream collaboration for travel agents. So becoming a, making a decision to, to join our business and become a travel agent and taking it to a whole nother level is the best decision that you could have made. It is the best way for you to be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. It is the best way to maximize the results that you would have as a travel agent that um, and you need a good travel partner host. I've been in quite a few agencies. I've been in quite a few, I've partnered with quite a few travel agencies, but Pro Travel has always been at the top of my list. I was with, with them a few years um, earlier and I left, which I wish I ha had never left because I think it is just an awesome, awesome partnership. So I want to salute David Hart for making the decision to make Pro Travel our travel host. So I just think it's a dream collaboration. I am super, super duper excited about it. And I, as you can tell, I am just, woo, I just don't know what to say. Um, I was excited to be asked to do a presentation. My heart is for the travel agent as well as for, I'm a marketing consultant for Paid to Save. Um, I'm a part of the presidential club for Paid to Save, as well as I have one of the, fastest growing teams from my understanding in pay to save. So I do both. Very few people do both. Some people do the only the marketing side and some people only do the travel agent side, but I fortunately do both. So I want to share that with you. What are some of the other things? Some of the other things is that you have come upon an opportunity that the in un income is only limited if you choose for it to be limited. It's only limited if you choose for it to be limited. You have the opportunity to enjoy the freedom of becoming your own boss. You have the access, you're gonna have access to um, top suppliers and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. You're gonna be able to experience low cost fam trips um, to popular de de destinations. Plus we have net net pricing on our vacation clubs as well. You're gonna be able to benefit from the sale incentives that will definitely keep you motivated if you really, really learn how to work this business and figure out what your niche is. You will gain access to travel agent only discounts and I'm gonna share some of those with you. I just had a recent experience in Las Vegas as I went to the red carpet event. So I just wanted to just go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and get started. So today, this presentation, I'm gonna share, share my screen with you. All right, so this is again, I'm calling it the pay to say, pay to say, pro travel, the dream collab collaboration for travel agents. So things I wish I knew before, before becoming a travel agent. So again, when you became a travel agent with pay to say and pro travel, I mean, it was a great opportunity, especially for $4.95 extra. The first time I got into the travel business, I paid almost $400 just for the travel agent side. So for all of the things that you get, it's just going to be a phenomenal way for you to, um, to learn um, this business. So some of the benefits of using a host agency for pro travel is the ease of entry. It's the ease of entry. So being able to come in for $4.95 extra a month, it's just, that's just an ease of entry. That's unheard of in the industry. The cost of, in, um, the cost of um, entering um, into the business, the knowledge and expertise. We have 15 years of expertise. Jessica Henderson and her staff are just phenomenal. Uh, we are one of the only agencies that have um, the TIA TO, certification in Canada. I'm just excited about that. And so um, we are like one of the top notch um, agencies. We have a, a dream collaboration, I call it, of uh, the knowledge and expertise that they bring to the table. They bring a lot of knowledge and expertise. Um, I used to go to their trainings, um, their vendor opportunities and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to them hosting one and pay to say, but um, the knowledge and expertise in this eight, in these two companies is just absolutely phenomenal. You're not going to find anything any greater. Training, automated um, 
to tutorials, webinars, regional, national conferences, and seminars. We do all of that. You're going to be able to take advantage of all of that. So maybe you can't get to a national training, but maybe you can get to a regional training. Maybe you'll get to some of the uh, seminars that the vendors are holding that um, pay that pay to save um, through Pro Travel will be able to take advantage of. You would have we have the advantage of being able to use the suppliers of the vendors such as Funjet. Um, Vacations Express, Carnival, Disney, Royal Caribbean, the list goes on. Um, it's just so many vendors um, that's, that's in your back office that you can use. Or, or if you find a vendor, I'm pretty sure that a pro travel will be able to assist you with that. But most of the time you want to use the vendors that they've already built relationship with because they, the, the better the relationship, the better our commissions. So you want to make sure that you do that. So we have a list of, of um, people, a list of vendors that we can um, go to. The benefits of using a host agency like Pro, um, Pro Travel Network is the back office accounting um, is taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about whether, whether you have to um, take care of that. They'll take care of that for you. The technology, the website is already done. You just fill in the blanks. And they have one of the best websites ever. I mean, it's just simple. It's, once you get all of the information in, the training, the marketing training is phenomenal. Um, if you really listen to it and apply it, uh, you will be great. You will be great on Google or Yellow Pages or whatever you want to uh, be. The technology and the website is already done. Again, you just have to fill in the blanks. Competitive pricing. We have very much good competitive pricing and with pay with pay to say we have even more competitive pricing because we can also give our customers the option to be able to book the travel themselves and save net net pricing and that's what i was looking for as a travel agent i was looking for a way that my customers especially my customers that's traveling with children my customers that's traveling on fixed incomes my customer that's traveling um with family members, sometimes they, they they have the money to go right then around income tax time or whatever, then a pay to save is, would be great for that. But some people also just want to be able to have the benefit of a travel agent and paying on what I call mail way their vacation. There are perks. There are perks. There are fam trips, familiarization trips. Those are trips that when you um, become a travel agent, they are offered to you at either no cost or low cost. I've had several, several fam trips. One of my best experiences with, with, was with sandals. Um, that's when I actually, my husband actually retired at a sandals vacation that I got in Montego Bay for absolutely free. I won it at a sandals convention. And it was a fam trip, and they paid for everything. We had concierge service, butler service, and he got the wisdom that he needed to retire while looking at that ocean. So that was just a great uh, trip for us. Um, cruise ships, I've been on several, and so we get the benefits of taking some of those, um, taking some of those tours, um, promotional rates at hotels and resorts. I recently, I'm going to share this, I recently went to Vegas to the Red Carpet event a couple of weeks ago. And so I arrived, I wanted to go to the Hard Rock because I had, first of all, it was only $25 and I paid the save back office. So I wanted to try it out because I know my granddaughter, she's 24 and that's kind of like Hard Rock. That's, you know, rock and roll and all of that. And so I was like, why are you going there? I said, well, I just want to try it out. I'll see how it is. So I went there, got there. They asked me what I was there for. I told them I was there for to meet with my CEO at the Bellagio for red carpet event. Um, I was a travel agent. The next day, they put me in a beautiful room. It was about 450 square feet. And this actually was an Elvis room. And so I love Elvis Presley. Everything was black marble. It was just gorgeous. And then... Um, the next morning, the maid came and told me I was moving. And the uh, but bailman came up and he bought me some keys and he said, Madame, he said, we're moving you to a suite. And so they moved me to a suite with a sock and tub and it was just absolutely amazing. 
And I know that I got that benefit because when I mentioned to them that I was a travel agent, they wasn't, they, they didn't real, they thought I probably was there to kind of smoke them over. So they wanted to make their best impression. Now that won't happen to you all the time, but being a travel agent will give you some perks and some up, upgrades that maybe you might not necessarily got. So uh, just think about that. Um, you may get reduced cost at hotels and resorts. The relationships and networking. So the relationships and networking are the benefits and having an agency once you start learning who your players are, who the people, who the agents are, who have the knowledge, you can network with them and build relationships with them. And we help and we train each other. Pro Travel is a trusted brand. It has, again, it has a great website, you guys. It has an awesome website. And people can go there. Um, they have a complete suite of marketing uh, materials that are provided to us. And so once you get through your back office training, make sure you do your five core trainings and send in that email um, so you can get your certificate and, and do all, all that's necessary. You will be have access uh, to this beautiful uh, website. Become a specialist. Become a specialist and find your niche. So one of the things that I wish I had a new if I, when I became a travel agent is that no one shared this with me. So I just have a heart, again, for travel agents. Make sure that you find your niche. And what I mean by that, what is your niche or niche? I say niche, but it's niche. What is your niche? Um, find that. So uh, for me, it's weddings. It's destination weddings. Um, honeymoons, group, anything in group travel, cruises. I love to do that stuff. One, it's a lot of money in it. But two, me and my husband are both ministers. So I was always doing weddings and people were always trying to get me to book their honeymoons. Even before I was a travel agent, we did a lot of weddings at our church and I was always the wedding coordinator. So when I got into travel, I found out that one of my niches was wedding travel, wedding and destination wedding travel. Because see, I, they get the full package. I can marry you. I can turn around and um, take, set up your wedding and coordinate, coordinate it either offshore or, or um, onshore. I can do all of that. And then as a travel agent, I can go with you as your event planner and wedding coordinator to make sure that everything is great. And then I can turn around and I can marry you. Oh my goodness, I could save my clients. I figured out that I could save my clients over $2,000 if I married them before they hit the shore of Mexico um, because of all of the things you have to do to get blood tests and stuff. So you want to find out. So some of the niche markets are sports and entertainment travel, health and wellness travel. I just did a presentation at LA Fitness on that. Health, health and wellness travel is one of the fastest growing interests. So if you like to exercise, right? <laughs> If you, if you like to, you one of those people who like organic coffees and spas and all of that, you may want to go into health and wellness travel, um, senior travel. You may want to do that. You may want to do family travel. You may want to focus on just families. You want to make focus on um, disability travel, um, helping people, who, families who have people who are disabled to travel. You may want to, so there's so much, there's sports and entertainment travel. That is huge. That is huge, especially around Super Bowl time um, and at the uh, end of uh, playoffs and all of that. So you need to find out what kind of travel you want to do. They have uh, river boats. I had uh, one at well, one time I had a travel agent that focused her, her name of her company was Boomerang. And all that she focused on was Australia. I had another travel agent at one time that focused only on Africa. He was from Africa and he would take uh, groups over to Africa and be their tour guide. And he would do that uh, at once a month. So he would take like maybe 50 people and then he'd go over there and, 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 and set up everything. And he made like goo gobs of money uh, doing that. So you want to find out what your niche, niche is. And these are things that people did not tell me when I first became a travel agent. So here's one of the trips that I've done. One of the trips that I've done is uh, I do girlfriend weekends. So the last one, I didn't do one. Um, the last one that I did um, was in 2017. 
and uh, I'm getting ready to do another one in 2019. I skipped 2018 because of some health challenges and some things that were going on in my family. Uh, but I do uh, my own trip. So this is my girlfriend's getaway. We went for six days and five nights. We stayed at the, the Ria. It was a beautiful, beautiful uh, resort. We've also did a cruise. We've also been to the Dominican Republic. And I set up, set them up uh, periodically throughout the year um, and take groups of, of women and some men because they infiltrate, like my husband, they infiltrate and they come along uh, as well, but they go and do their own thing. And so you want, so this is uh, just an example of one of the, the vacations uh, that I did. I also, um, someone should have told me that I needed to engage in social media. When I became a travel agent, I had no idea. I knew absolutely nothing about social media. I was a social media novice. And But my granddaughter, who at the time was a, a teenager, began to share with me about social media. And she was the one who went on my phone and, and showed me what Facebook was and created my YouTube channel. And um, she got me a Twitter or a Twitter or whatever you call it. I know how to work it now. Instagram. She set up all of that. So you may have a child, you may have a kid, maybe you're a novice, but you can find a kid who can set you up and train you on how to use those things. And so now I use LinkedIn, I use Instagram, I use Facebook, I use Twitter. I'm preparing myself now to um, use YouTube, although I have the channel, I haven't really been promoting it, but I definitely want to begin um, to do that. So you want to engage in social media. And one of the things that I know about Pay to Say, their, their business was pretty much built on social media. So you want to um, learn how to do that. And that's something that someone didn't tell me when I first became a travel agent. So what makes you special and different? So I always ask my agents, if you, if this was, this is within this dream collaboration and the things that I wish I knew was what made me special and different? What, what do you specialize in? What makes people, I have people that's my customers that I don't even know. People re refer them to me. Um, you want to be a solution solver is you're going to be a travel agent. You want to be able to solve because you're going to run into situations. So you want to know all those little fine tune things. You want to make sure that people get their trip protection, especially if they go going out of the country. You want to make sure that when, uh, if they're your customer, I specialize in making them feel good. I specialize in making sure, like I recently had a senior group that was going on a, a cruise and it was uh, eight sisters and they were going on a cruise. And so I made sure every last one of them had a wheelchair. And so when I said that to them in my meeting, and I've never met this group, they met my golden girl group. They've been with me for five years. I have yet to meet them. And so when I set them up with the wheelchairs uh, service, people, um, and I set them up with door-to-door -door service, um, limousine service to get to the port. Uh, I made sure that they had a room overnight. I made sure that they were comfortable, that it included a full breakfast so they didn't have to have to go to the ship hungry. I made sure all, so they felt really special. So they just got back the other day and they were super excited. They're ready to go again. The sisters were impressed. They sent me a nice, uh, a nice gift, but I wanted to, and then I made sure that um, when I do cruises, I make sure that people have, uh, take advantage, I take advantage of our perks as travel agents and our incentives as travel agents. And so uh, last cruise I did for my group, they got house shoes, they got a uh, chocolate strawberries one day, Royal Caribbean house shoes one day, they got some red velvet cupcakes. I had a lady that cried, her name was Tanya, over those red velvet cupcakes. She loved them and she, it was like something in her childhood and she hadn't had any in years. Um, thanking me for those cupcakes and then one day they had uh, brownies. And so um, I've just made sure that they had something special in their room. Also, you want them to have do special access and requests. You want to go that extra mile. If you're going to build a clientele, you want to go that extra mile because there are travel agents all over. But what's going to make you be that special person that people reach out and refer 
you because you're only one customer away through a referral because most of your customers are going to come through referral. So the segment of your market includes two types of travel. So when I was looking at um, this dream collaboration, when I was looking at pro travel and pay to save, one of the things that I looked at, and these are the things that I'm going to say. So those with more money and more uh, that those with more money than time value the use of a travel agent. Let me repeat that. Those with more money than time value the use of a travel agent. They value purchasing the travel agent's expertise and the ability to handle their vacation. Glory, I almost wanted to say glory to God, but I did, okay? They, they really do. That's why they hire you because they look at you as being an expert, the ability to handle their travel, the ability to not have to deal with the nuts and bolts of it, right? So with those clients, I keep those clients. But the clients, those who have more time than money, they're looking for a deal, they're looking for value, they're even looking for the hookup. There ain't nobody, some, if you stay in travel long enough, somebody gonna call you, girl, can you hook me up? Brother, can you hook me up? Can you hook me up? Well, I, when they call me now and say, can you hook me up? I give them a customer free trial for pay to save. <laughs> Yeah, I can hook you up. I'm going to give you a free trial. Try this out and go and hook your own self up. That's what I tell them. So also, they also, through pay to save, you work with net rates rather than commission rates. So that means that your pr the prices are going to be lower in most instances. The prices are going to be absolutely phenomenal. So when I say this is a dream vacation, beloved, it is a dream vacation. I mean, it is a dream collaboration. It is just I'm absolutely amazing. I could just, I'm telling you, I, as a travel person, I am just excited because I just think we got the best of both worlds. I think David, David Hart and Todd and the battles and the, the Roberts and the crawl. And I mean, I just think that the, sitting around the table and I am so glad to be a part of that team. You want to master your pitch. You want to master your pitch. So clients ask, tell me about yourself and your agency. And that's one thing that I love about the pro travel um, setup, the pro travel when, when you're doing your um, profile, when you're doing your um, agent's agent profile. Pro travel has a way of asking you and helping you to develop those um, profile questions and the things that you need to be able to say to master your pitch. So when a client tells you, it's like your elevator speech. When it tells you, um, you don't have like 20, 20 minutes to, uh, you don't have 20 minutes to tell a person about uh, your business. You only have a few minutes. So master your pitch. If the client asks you, tell me about yourself and your agency, and with my uh, travel agents, we're going to be practicing this. Tell me about your, what is your pitch? What is your pitch? This is what I want to hear. And you need, it needs to be a 30 second elevator pitch. What makes you different from other travel agents? What makes you different? I know what makes me different. I know that there are things that I do. I make sure that my customers are very well taken care of. I make sure that I go that extra mile. I make sure that they always have some type of gift. I always find out like things as if their birthday, is they're coming up on an anniversary, is they celebrating something special. Um, what, what colors do they like? What kind of things? So if I decide I want to send them some flowers or send them, I want to send them, I don't want to send them red roses and they hate red roses, right? If I, I want to make sure. So what makes you different than other agents? What are the top three messages you want to pitch? What are the top three messages that you want to pitch to anyone? And you want to make sure that you memorize them. You want to make sure that you memorize those. You want to be incredible and responsible and reachable. You want to be incredible and responsible and reachable. This is my smartphone. Woo! This is my smartphone. And no matter where I am, I take my phone. It is 
it is with me wherever I go. This is my office. And I have an 88, after I was in travel a while, I developed, a, I have an 888 number. So my travel number is 888-584-9058, extension 102. So, uh, but it rings at my smartphone. So you want to use a smartphone, even if you're not, even if you're not in your home office, you want to use a smartphone to be extremely responsive through, through voicemail, through email. I get an email immediately through social media. If somebody hits me up on Messenger, I can answer them right away. You want to, you, and if you don't have the money to do an 88 number, which if, and if you're just starting in business, you don't, get you a Google number. Get you a Google number that rings at your landline or your mobile phone. Get you a Google number, but get you a separate number if you can. Get you a separate number if you can to do, to, to do your business because you don't want a client to call you and can't reach you. I had a situation where these were not my clients, but they were my friends. And they were my friends, but then they decided to go ahead and book their travel by themselves. And they did, and they ended up in stuck in Mexico City, and they were on their way to Cancun. And anybody that know the difference between, it, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they could not get in touch with anybody with Expedia. They could get in touch with me. And even though they wasn't my client, I was able to help them to get out of that situation and, and, and talk to someone that spoke English rather than spoke Spanish. And they, could, they were having interpretation problems. And they couldn't get, they had the, the plane that sent them to the wrong place. And they was, it was just a mess. So you want to make sure that you always have your smartphone. Get you a smartphone. If you're going to be a travel agent, you must have a smartphone. And guess what, guys? It's a tax, de it's tax deductible. I am delivering the best value to my customer. One of the things that I think is a dream collaboration, the things that I wish I had known, is that when I was just a travel agent with other companies, I was not giving my customer the best value. I was not giving my customer the best value. But now it pays to say, I can say proudly that I am giving my customer the best value. I am giving my customer the best value. So if I decide to use Pro Travel and use a commission structure, I'm still going to give them the best price and the best value. But if I decide to give them, if I think that uh, pay to save and their net net pricing, and it's too, their shopping and entertainment dollars is going to be a better bet to them. I am going to give them whatever I feel that my customer will have the best value from. And that you want to do that. Why? Because it keeps the customer coming back and it keeps the customer referring people to you. Don't sell deals. Sell, sell and brand your expertise. Don't sell deals. Sell and brand your expertise. That's what sells, honey. That's what sells. It sells. You cannot sell deals, really. Because if people really want to go someplace, sometimes they're not looking for the deal. They're looking for making sure that every, that every dot is crossed and every T. Right? They're looking for that. So don't always be trying to sell deals. Oh, we got the best deals. We got this. We got that. No, we know we got the best deals. Just sell, hey, baby, you cannot do anything. I can, I'm telling you, I, I'm going to do you well. I'm going to do you good because this company, our company, is the best of the best. I will compare it to anything. So you want to go and you want to check our prices against the next competitor, you go ahead and do that because I can tell you, that we are the experts in this in this space right now. Independent travel agents should always ask the customer and encourage the customer to get trip protection. And they go through that in the training. They go through that in the back office training with Pro Travel. You have to, they even want to have, you have to have them sign off that they didn't, that they refused it. It is a protection for you and it's a protection for the client. So can I get your attention, please? Please make sure as independent travel agents that you always ask the customer about 
trip protection. And if they decline it or accept it, you want record of it. You want to, a record of it. Again, I talked about this earlier. You want to reward your customers with incentives and upgrades and gifts. Even when I book a client, and if, if I see that um, something, they're offering something or something goes on sale and they don't pay for their trip or they're close to paying to it, I will call the company. I will call Royal Caribbean. I will call FunJet. I will call them and see if my customer can get those incentives or those upgrades. Um, I'm always going to be looking for some type of gift to be able to send them, even if it's, I'm always going to be looking on a cruise for extra um, money uh, on board, on board credit and things like that for them. Um, and when you do that, they're going to tell everybody. I remember I had a, a anniversary couple who went to Hawaii and it took me forever to find a florist that was in my price range because Hawaii is like three times as expensive as anything on, on, on land. And so I found this, this company, this florist in Hawaii, and they delivered my, uh, this couple was their 25th wedding anniversary. So I had this basket made for them with macadamia nuts and candy, Hawaiian candy. And then um, they did lay, beautiful lays for them, and they did balloons, and then they did these or like um, really pretty uh, flowers and, and Hawaiian colors. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And so when the customer, when the, my client got to their room, all of this was already in their room waiting for them. They gave me a $200. They sent me a $200 bonus on top of mine uh, just because I did that. It was just, I mean, it, oh, it had champagne in it. It was just awesome. It cost me a little bit of money. But what I got in commissions and then what I spent, they sent back to me as a bonus. So, and then they told, like, I got about five or six customers just from doing that. So they will tell everybody if you do that. The familiarization trips. We talk a lot about familiarization trips, and they are wonderful. A familiarization trip is a low-cost trip. Um, or a tour that's offered to travel agents by the supplier or a group of suppliers to familiarize the agents with their destination or services. Example, a resort property or a group or a hotel of restaurants that Aruba might, uh, come, might um, team up with airfare and a two operator and offer you a fam trip to Aruba. It just depends. But what I want to say that is that these are job trainings and have some restrictions. When I was in another company, they actually, um, some of the, the company lost their credibility with sandals because the, the people were taking the fam trips, the free trips, but they was not going on the tours. They were not going to, because when you get, you have to do the work. So if they say the fam trip includes a tour of this this resort, um, I'll give you an example, Montego Bay, Ocho's Rios, um, maybe all together along with another one, um, another, another Jamaican island, right? So they may be all together. So you may fly to one in, to Montego Bay and then you will tour all of their, their hotels and resorts there. And then the next day you may move over to the next one. And the next day you may move over to, well, you got to move. You can't tell those people you're not going to move. You're doing a familiarization trip. They want you to eat the food. They want you to get served by the butler. They want you to get familiar with that resort. So you cannot. So if you know that you can't do a lot of walking, if you know that you don't want to take a familiarization trip that has like four or five different resorts in it, if you know that, uh, you're allergic to certain things or you're hypersensitive or you can't take the shots to go overseas or whatever. You don't want to take those familiarization trips. So you want to make sure that you understand that these are working trips and they have some restrictions. Please read the restrictions. Please understand the restrictions. Ask them for the restrictions. Ask them for the restrictions. What is going to be your responsibility with the familiarization trips? 
I can't say enough about that. Because what would happen is that then we would begin to lose. It would have also began to affect, it affected all of us when we when they when that company lost their um lost their sandals uh, admission. It, it affected all of us because I kind of like the sandals. You know, it's not one to well, I kind of like the sandals. So um Right. So you want to make sure that you do that. You want to make sure that you ask them uh, what the restrictions are. So we got breaking news. Woo Travel agents are not a dying breed, baby. They're not a dying breed. People are using them every day. It is a $8 trillion industry. It is planning. The, if, if it keeps moving and moving, it should be about $12 trillion in a few years. Um, for, because of people like myself and my husband. We are part of the baby boomer generation. And then the millennials are traveling more. And so it is just going to increase. So travel agents are not a dying breed. If someone is spending three, $4,000 on a vacation, they want to talk to someone, especially baby boomers. They want to sit out and they want to talk to someone. They want someone to help them to make some decisions. A lot of times my customer will call me and say, uh, this is how much money I have. I have about $5,000. Do you suggest the island that I go to? Or you want to make sure that you do the research on that, on, on, that, on that particular place. It might not be the right place at the right time. Like I had some people who wanted to go to Dubai, but it was the wrong season. It was going to be like 150 degrees. So you want to make sure that you do uh, that. The travel agents are not a dying breed. It is the best job in the world to get paid to travel. Pro travel and pay to save are a dream partnership. They are a dream partnership. I'm telling you, a few years from now, not even, I don't, I believe in the next year, it's going to be a household word. It is definitely going to be like Uber. It's definitely going to be like Lyft. It is going to be like a Walmart of travel. It's going to be one of the best collaborations. And I really believe that in my heart. I've been around this industry for a while. And I just want to thank you, um, David Hart, for your vision. Thank you for being open. I want to thank uh, Todd Strand for inviting me to do this. I just want to celebrate um, Jessica Henderson for hanging in there and running Pro Travel with the spirit of excellence. And I know that anyone that comes along to be a travel agent with us is going to be great. We want you to be great and we want you to be the best that you can be. So I'll come back again. Um, I am so, again, excited about this business. My name is Deborah Taylor, and I'm a two-star director with Pro Travel Network and Paid to Save. I am also a marketing consultant as well. And I, again, am excited about this business. God bless you. You have a fantastic day. And go and, and change the world. So I will see you either at the beaches or at the bank. God bless. Take care.